The question here is to find the Thevenin equivalent at terminals A, B. So basically finding the voltage, um, the, the Thevenin voltage and the Thevenin resistance seen from terminals A, B over here. So this is a multiple choice question, so um, we have to eliminate answers. And between V and R, finding V takes a little longer than finding R. So we're going to find R first and then eliminate answers from there. Okay, so in order to find R, we have to short circuit our voltage sources and open circuit our current sources here. So we have one current source, so we have to open that one up and then short every um, voltage source that we have. So we have two voltage source here, 8 volt and then 4 volt. So let's see what our circuit looks like when we do that. So we have this, short it, and then we have 4, and we have open circuit there. Short it, that, okay? So we have 2 ohm here, 2 ohms here. Alright, so if we short circuit 8 volts, this also, the voltage across the 4 ohm is also 8 volts. So if you short circuit the 8 volt, it's almost like shorting, is it is like shorting um, the 4 ohm. So that's, that also goes away. So we don't have that anymore. We don't have the 4 ohm anymore. Okay, so that's gone. So what are we left with? We only have 2, two ohm resistors in parallel. So RT would be 2 parallel with 2 so that's 4 over 4 and that's equal to 1. So right away we can um, eliminate this particular um, that answer A and then another one over here. So two answers are gone. So now how do we find um, how do we find VT? VT, to find VT, um, since it's terminal AB over here, we have to put our VT back into the circuit as imaginary. Okay? So we have, we, let's, let's put it back in the circuit. So if you put it back in, we need to find, we need to apply KVL in order to find that uh, VT. So let's find KVL through this particular loop over here. Through this loop. Let's call it loop one, whatever. So KVL applying that across loop one. KVL. Um, let's put a signs here. Mm, so this is minus. So minus plus. We have a plus minus, and we have um, plus minus. All right. So applying KVL through this particular loop here, we have if okay. So we have plus to minus here. Let's start with this voltage source. So plus to minus. So we have minus four volts. Plus to minus. We have let's call this voltage across the two ohms. Um, let's call it V two. So plus to minus. We have minus V two. And then minus to plus, we have uh, plus VT. Equals zero. So we don't know what VT, V2 is. So we need to find that. How do we find it? We can apply KCL in this node over here. So let's assign current. So let's assume that the current is going out here. Um, current coming in and current coming in here doesn't really matter um, so we're gonna end up with the same results anyway if we you chose um, your current here as out for instance okay so KCL at 2 what's that so current coming in is 2 plus or minus whatever um, 
current coming in again which would be this current coming in would be minus um, v2 over 2 so 0 minus v2 over 2 so we have minus v2 over 2 that's equal uh, to this current going out of the 2 ohm so that's what that would be um, v2 minus v1 over 2 but what's v1 v1 is the voltage across here or this one over here that's v1 basically so that's 8 volts so we have v2 minus 8 over 2 so now um, we we can find v2 what's v2 uh, we have 4 minus V2 equals V2 minus 8. So V2 would be minus 12 over, over um, 2. Minus 12 over minus 2, so that's 6. So V2 is 6, and if V2 is 6, we can come back here and have minus 4 minus 6 is equal to minus VT and so therefore VT is equal to 10 volts and that's it for our answer would be in this case D alright see you for another problem